Charges are finally laid, but plenty of questions remain. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. You remember the Sudbury, Ontario by-election scandal, the one that saw a candidate come forward and say, I was offered a bribe if I would step aside. And I was offered that bribe by, well, messengers for Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne. Well, finally, charges have been laid in that scandal. It only took 10 months. The allegations first came forward from Andrew Olivier in December of 2014. He said that two messengers from Kathleen Wynne came to him and said, we'll give you a job or an appointment. We'll look after you if you stop seeking the Liberal nomination. Olivier had run in the, the previous general election in Ontario and he lost to the NDP candidate. When the NDP candidate resigned suddenly after six months, Olivier thought, here's my chance. I'll run again. But the Liberals wanted a star candidate. They wanted Glenn Tebow to run instead. So Jerry Lougheed and Pat Sorbera both approached him. Jerry Lougheed is a local liberal organizer, provincially and federally, and Sorbera, well, she's the deputy chief of staff to Premier Kathleen Wynne. Let me remind you of what they said. Both of them caught on recording by Olivier, a quadriplegic who uses recordings to take notes and remind himself of what was said in the conversations. Here's what Lougheed said to him first. I come to you on behalf of the Premier and on behalf of, I guess, Tebow, for more indirectly, to ask you if you would consider stepping down, even more than that, Andrew, nominating him. In the course of that deliberation, uh, the Premier wants to talk to you. They would like to present to you options in terms of uh, appointments, jobs, whatever, that you and her and Pat Sabera can talk about. That's pretty cut and dry. He is offering Olivier a job, and he'll look after him, or the Premier will, if he just stops seeking the Liberal nomination. Well, Olivia wasn't convinced, so Pat Sorbera called him up next. She made a pretty direct offer as well, I'd say. We don't have to decide overnight, right? There's lots of options that we can sit down and talk about. I mean, I'm gonna, we're all going to be up to very many times. We can sit down and you know, talk that through. And just We should have the broader discussion about what, what is it that you'd be most interested in doing and then decide what, what shape that could take that would fulfill that is what I'm getting at, whether it's a full-time or part-time job at a consent office So you've heard both recordings. Here's my question. Why is only Jerry Lougheed facing charges? Why not Pat Sorbera as well? They both induced a candidate to step aside. That's against the law. But one is facing charges, while the more powerful one, the Premier's Deputy Chief of Staff or Campaign Manager, not facing charges at all. That is a travesty of justice. I think that Kathleen Wynne should be investigated as well. But we saw that the OPP didn't want to investigate this in the first place. They knew about the recordings in December, didn't move until public pressure mounted after the recordings were released to the public in January 2015. We also found out from the Toronto Star about a week or so ago that as the OPP reluctantly wrapped up their investigation, Crown prosecutors didn't want to lay charges. They had trouble finding a prosecutor that would work with them. This smells of political interference at every level and more needs to be done. The pressure needs to keep up. But I want to say that this is not just a provincial story for Ontario. This is a federal story as well. See, Thibault, the man they wanted Olivier to step aside for, he was a federal MP. He was in Tom Mulcair's NDP caucus. And then he quit the NDP, he quit federal politics and joined the Ontario Provincial Liberals. But that is not the only federal connection. As the NDP, federal NDP, handily points out in a news release, Jerry Lougheed is pretty well connected to Justin Trudeau. He donated handsomely to Trudeau's campaign. He raised $115,000 for Trudeau in a single night with a $1,300 a plate dinner. Heck, Lougheed even says on the recording with Olivier that he tried to recruit Thibault to run for Trudeau. I'm sorry, I'll give you another piece, Andrew. Sure. For the last three years, I have been harassing Thibault to cross the floor federally and join Trudeau's group. But that's really a side story. That's splatter on Trudeau. The real egg is on Kathleen Wynne. And what prosecutors and police need to answer is why the Premier herself, but especially her Deputy Chief of Staff, are not facing charges right now. Is Jerry Lawhey just a, a fall guy while the real power duo at the, the heart of all this walk away scot-free?
because that's what it looks like. Justice doesn't not just need to be done, it needs to be seen to be done. And in this case, it doesn't look like it's happening at all.